Okay, just took everything out of hibernation. Got two full colonies hibernating. Then I have uh, nine parasitic queen experiments I'm trying. And I have one single queen that I got last year that was laying eggs. But she must be infertile because none of them are good. And as we can see here, I just took these out of the fridge. Everybody looks okay. We got lots of movement. I cannot see the queen. This is. Ah, oh, that bothers me. Because, first of all, look at the size of this thing. This this thing is uh, three-sided, number one. So you're looking at one side right now, it has three sides. I'll show you in a minute. But I had to get this colony in it. So I'm just trying to get into position here to shine a light. And focus the camera. Is that the queen right there? Yes, sir. So I do see the queen. She is moving. She is alive. The whole colony looks great. I cannot believe how quick they wake up. I'm talking, this has been out of the fridge for two minutes. And they already have massive movement. So that is... Uh, one successful hibernation. This is a, this is going to be the second year. Uh, this is a Tetramorium SPE colony. It survived its first year hibernation. Here's another side showing you. Third side. That's its outworld. It's got a small outworld. Not exactly sure how that's going to work when. Uh, this colony's full grown, but yeah, this is the second season. Uh, these guys are gonna be, they're gonna be looking for food, they're gonna be looking for uh, sugar water immediately. Just about to set all that stuff up. I don't even know if they can get out. I don't even know if they can walk all the way down. They gotta get to this uh, tube. I gotta get to that tube up there. I put him in right before hibernation. I took him basically from a test tube and I moved him in through a, through a tube coming through the side here. So they've never came up or down through here. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna pause this so I can uh, look at the other one. Okay, here's my Lacey's Claviger experiments. Hopefully Everyone's okay. Let's see what we got here. All right, here we go. Lacey's Claviger Queen and four workers in this one alive. Everything's good. What do we got in this one? Lacey's Claviger Queen Solo. Um, she's alive. So this is a fruit fly put in there, molded, fruit fly molded. Okay, here we go. Two Lacey's Claviger Queens. Five workers. Four workers. All live. Larvae alive. Everybody's alive. That, this, this is going to be... These are all Lacey's Neo Niger workers that I've introduced to this Claviger Queen. You know, this one has some larvae too. Now, I, I put... Uh, with the focus see they got some there I put all th this larvae and eggs they all came from uh, everything came from that colony so I can give that queen her workers back it's not gonna be that easy some nice activity by this queen on this larva if I could keep the camera steady Focus, 
Come on. She doing? She's not hungry after hibernation. She's got a larva in her mouth. So I hope she's not gonna eat that. Come on. It's hard to see, but she has one. Focus. She dropped no, she still got it. She no, she dropped it. So uh yeah. Some more workers. I'll probably just nab. Oh, here's some grooming. Now I just introduced these. These are parasitic queen ants. Uh, right before I hibernated these guys, I introduced them to these Laceus neoniger workers that you see. All these are all successful introductions. Uh, I'm going to have to take, there we go, some feeding right there. Does she have one in her mouth too? Uh, yep, she has an egg or something in her mouth. I certainly hope uh, you can see it there. Is she piling them? No, nope, just being clumsy. She's going to eat it. I don't know. These things are probably hungry. I don't know what I don't know what happens after they come out of hibernation. I'm sure they're hungry. Anyway, let's keep this show moving. Definitely going to have to introduce that queen, give her some of her workers back. So here we go. There's 1 2 3. There's there's four queens in there. I got more. How are we looking? How are we looking? Okay, we got a Laceus Clavager queen with a bunch of workers. I'm not sure. Are these Laceus Clavager or these Laceus Flavus? Not exactly sure, but. Uh, I did a couple of these introductions. As you can see, everybody's alive. Look at that black mold on there. Wowza. Definitely changed that test tube. And look at this one right beside it. Nothing. No mold. Nothing. That queen's alive. This queen's alive. Here's one with their wings on. Uh... This is the one I found. The rest of these, uh, someone gave them all to me. So someone found all the rest of these queens all together. This one I found solo by herself, still with her wings on. That's said her, had her wings on since August. Pretty chewed up now. Uh, again, all these larvae, all these eggs, those are all Neo Niger that I gave them. I'm trying to kickstart them into, uh, starting their own colony and this queen here ah oh, what is this uh, is that, what is that queen oh my goodness oh my goodness uh, is that a tetramorium oh I don't know what just happened with that light I had. Uh, I believe this is a Tetramorium queen as well. Chosen by a thorax. Uh, I believe that's a Tetramorium. This one she's laid a bunch of eggs. None of them are good. She should have already had a colony. She didn't. I'm gonna let her go this year because uh, I guess she's infertile. And uh, I got a lot of work to do. I got to feed all these ants. I got to feed them all, give them all sugar water, give them all new test tubes. Should have done that. Should have got the test tubes ready before I took them out of the fridge. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, 
Yeah, long video, see it. So I already got these guys doing work. This guy here, he's taking one of the fruit flies. He's dragging it up to the nest. And they're starting to find this uh, cotton ball, sugar water in there. I put in their nest for them. They've been awake for about 10 minutes. This guy's moving sand around. Starting to explore, they never even got to explore this nest. Before hibernation.